All right, coming to you live from Joyant's World Headquarters here in San Francisco. I'm here with uh, Casey Bison, Director of Product Management at Joyant. How are you doing, Casey? Fantastically. How are you doing? I'm doing well. So you're going to tell us a little about containers, VMs, and how the two interact. Indeed, indeed. So I think a lot of us are familiar with containers. If, if we are not using containers in some way, we're, we've certainly heard of them. And a lot of the excitement is around how you can build on your laptop with containers and you can package something out, up that's supposed to go to the cloud exactly as it works on your laptop. And so when you're on your laptop, uh, you're working on, on, on something, but uh, oftentimes you actually have to run a virtual machine on your laptop just to be able to run the containers. So unless you're running a Dell Sputnik, uh, Dell Project Sputnik laptop, laptop, you're probably running Mac OS or Windows, uh, in which case you'll have to use boot to dock or some other solution to get a Linux VM in which you can run the containers. And so already you're actually in a virtual machine, uh, but the great thing is you can build those containers and go to the cloud. On the other hand, in the cloud, you're also in a virtual machine uh, where you're oftentimes on, in fact, uh, almost universally, you're on a, uh, on a compute node that's being shared with other people by using virtual machines. Um, and so the, the problem with that is you can run your containers, but you actually end up in the situation where you may end up not having all of, uh, not getting all the efficiency out of your virtual machines. So you may end up in a situation where you're not running all of the containers that a virtual machine can carry, or as you start to deprovision virtual uh, containers, uh, you get far less efficiency and you maybe have less. And of course, one of the things is you can't really run containers from other, other people on the same virtual machine. So getting to efficiency inside, inside your virtual machine can be really difficult, but it is a way to get to the cloud. Of course, the thing that people want to do a lot is actually to run on bare metal, uh, and, uh, and that's where you can eliminate the hypervisor and the guest OS and just run a host OS and the containers on there. And that way you can get a lot of performance advantages, but you can also eliminate the cost and complexity of managing the virtual machine environment. So, so why don't people just uh, run this model as you're showing us right now, the, the container by itself on bare metal? Well, one of the things is you have to have the bare metal. Uh, and so you end up in a situation where uh, you would have to buy bare metal, and bare metal it comes in, very, in sizes that are very, very limited compared to what you can buy virtual machines. So you maybe can buy a very, very small virtual machine, but to buy a bare metal server that's similar in size is going to be complex. And then there's the problem of that bare metal, in most environments, it can't be shared. And so I can't run my containers on bare metal next to uh, your containers, perhaps in green. Because what can happen is, in most environments, the host OS doesn't have the security to prevent you from getting into that container. And that's why public clouds are actually using virtual machines. Because if we could all run on bare metal, if the security existed there to work on bare metal, there would be no problem. We wouldn't need the virtual machines in there. Now, Joint actually makes this different because we have the security to prevent that kind of escape from the container. And so because we have this working security for, to share the multi-tenant bare metal, we can actually run the host OS, which is smart OS in our environment, and the containers all side by side. Uh, and so we get this great advantage of being able to share, share that single host of us and get the advantages of bare metal uh, without the risks of, of what, you, what you'd face in bare metal in other clouds. So just to conclude with, how much of a head start do you have? In other words, when do you think the world will be going to this model um, where we are just running containers on bare metal? You know, I hope the world gets there faster, uh, very, very fast, because the advantages of being on bare metal uh, are really clear. It hits us in performance, and it hits us in simplicity, and it hits us in cost. Uh, and so let's just talk about the complexity of managing virtual machines for a moment. What this means is we have to have software that can bring together the different virtual machines as a cluster of uh, instances into which you can run the containers. That means in a public cloud you have to provision those virtual machines and you have to deprovision those virtual machines. And, uh, and that has to work together with your container scheduling so that you don't have underutilized virtual machines uh, in your cloud so that you're not paying for resources that you're not using. Um, and it hits us in performance because 
the extra cost of having this guest OS layer on top of the hypervisor layer and all of the work that you have to go through to get like network packets through the hypervisor into the guest OS and then into the containers in there is a lot more complex. When you run on bare metal in our environment where we actually virtualize the network right into the container, every container has direct access to the network and its own network interfaces and so that's a huge advantage. Um, and so when you bring together the security advantages and the networking advantages that, uh, that Joint has with Triton, um, what we get is something where I don't see a path forward uh, in, among any of our competitors. But everything we're doing is actually open source. So you can download Triton for free. Uh, it's on GitHub. You can run it on your own hardware. You can run it on your laptop. And you can enjoy all of this right now. So on the one hand, technologically, It'll be very hard for other technologies to compete. On the other hand, everybody can take advantage of it right now for free. Awesome. Casey Bison, thank you so much. Thank you.